Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between Mikhail Tal and Alexei Sutin. The game was played in Soviet Union Chess Championship in 1969. In this game, Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Sutin played c5, Sicilian defense, knight to f3, e6, d4, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on d4, and now a6. This is Khan variation of Sicilian defense. Bishop to d3, knight to e7. More popular move in this position is bishop to c5, attacking the knight, and then white would play knight to b3. And black has a choice, bishop to a7 or bishop to e7. If bishop to e7, one line goes like this, queen to g4. But let's go back to our game. In the game, Sutin played knight to e7, knight to c3, knight from b to c6, challenging the knight on d4, and Tal doesn't want to exchange the knight. Knight to b3 was played. Knight to g6. Tal castled kingside. b5, expanding on the queen side and making room on b7 for light square bishop. Bishop to e3. d6. f4. Bishop to e7 and black is ready to castle king's side. Queen to h5. And suddenly black is not so confident to castle king's side. He played bishop to f6. Rook from a to d1, lining rook with black queen. Knight that is on c3 in many variations likes to jump to d5. So black captured knight on c3, pawn takes bishop, queen to c7, rook to d2, knight from c to e7, as you can see, black is not confident to cast the king side, he would rather cast the queen side, I think, knight to d4, bishop to d7, perhaps castling queen side is possible now, but there is no time. f5. f5 was asking to be played. Attacking the knight. Pawn takes pawn. Pawn takes pawn attacking the knight. Knight to e5. And we have reached critical position of the game. It is white to move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the move that Tal played. Ready? Did you look for the move? Did you find the move? Tal played knight to e6, attacking the queen and pawn on g7 and black can't let this knight stay on e6. Pawn on f7 is spinned, so black captured knight with bishop. Pawn takes bishop, pressure is on the pawn on f7 g6. It is white to move and to play a killer move. If you wish, you can stop the video and you can try to find the killer move. Ready? Did you find the killer move? Is that the killer move? No, this is not the killer move. This is the killer move. Tal sacrificed the queen. What else but to take the queen? And now, pawn takes pawn on f7 check. And believe it or not, black resigned. I will show you just one possible continuation in which black wasn't interested at all. So it's possible to play king to d7, then check, king to c6, check, 
knight to d5, bishop takes knight, check, king to d6, check, king to e7, check, king to d7, discover check, king to c8, like I said, this is just one possible continuation, you can find different moves for black and white, but black has no hop. King to b7, check, and how to block, with queen, then bishop takes queen check, and after king takes bishop, perhaps rook to e6 check, and we can stop here, white has an extra piece. But there is also another way for black to continue. In this position, instead of king to d7 or king to d8, black can play king to f8. Is that better? How would white continue now? Bishop to h6. Check. Mate. What a game. In this position, if you have seen the queen sacrifice, congratulations. That was a very nice attack by Mikhail Tal, wasn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.